the Premier League is a roller coaster, Mr. Aspinall, and uh, you are very much on that roller coaster right now. Talk about highs and lows. It must be exhausting. Yeah, I feel like I'm on the big one at Blackpool. <laughs> it's um, you know one minute I'm up, one minute I'm down. It's it's just so hard, you know what I mean? But it's, you know, it's the top eight players in the world. It, you know, it, it's not made to be easy. Um, I was very disappointed with my, my game and my performance last night. Um, so it's very important for myself to, to bounce back with it, with a good result. Um, it wasn't the best of games, but God did it have some charm. Um, and, you know, I'm very happy that I came out on top of, uh, on top of the match. Um, you are second in the table, and that's... It's a that's a massive result in the context because it's all concertinaed up. It feels like every every defeat drops you four places, every win puts you up four places. Yeah, I think last night proved it. I was I was third going into to Michael, um, got beat, and I was down to sixth. And obviously, if I lost tonight, if, if Gezi was to beat whoever Gezi's playing, I could have been second bottom. Um, and I'm playing good darts, you know, it, it, it's, it's hard. So uh, I think that was why it was so hard tonight, because I think we both knew it was a massive game for both. Obviously, Michael, uh, I beat Michael two days before. Um, so it, it was a very tough game for both players, but uh, one I'm very, very happy to come out on top. I think both of you are very similar because you're both feeling the emotion of the Premier League because Michael felt it after he lost to you the other night. He's then got a result. You then felt that last night. You said, I don't know what you did in your hotel room. I hope you didn't do the full rock and roll. <laughs> the TV don't. wasn't out the window or anything. But you're finding it, it's being in this cabin. The TV different. was very close to being out the window. But <laughs> it, <laughs> nah, it, it's, you, me and Michael, are, you know, we're both young and, uh, you know, he's number one in, in England. I'm number three, four and six in the world. We, we love playing each other and we want... We want to win titles. We want to be the best. We, we want where Mike, what Michael Van Gerwen's got, mm -hmm. and um, we try so hard. Sometimes we try too hard, uh, like last night for me. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm great mates with Mike. Uh, a lot of respect for him, and um, you know, I needed a little bit of a little bit of adrenaline during that game to get myself going, which I did. I know Mike knows that I'm, I won't do it in malice or anything like that. I just needed it to get myself going, and. Uh, I'm thankful that I did get something going and uh, I'm, I'm happy to be sat here talking to you uh, with, with, with two points. It has to be said, after three or four days now, there seems to be a lot of tension running through the, the entire uh, group of players. Is that cabin fever as well as the fact you're stuck there every day, that fact that you've had to produce this and it's having to produce this every night. And when you do get a defeat, you don't get enough breathing yeah. space, mind space to get over defeats. Yeah, I, I can't wait for these two days off, to be quite honest. It's just to, you know, reset the mind and reset my head. Um, it's it, it's brutal. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to put it blunt. It is brutal. Um, you got to perform at your top game every single night, and even that's not good enough sometimes. Uh, I'm such a family man. Uh, I spent five months at home with, me, with Kirsty and my two children, and... Um, you know, this morning my daughter broke was on the phone saying that she's missing me. When am I coming home? It, it's hard. It really, really is hard. But um, you know, you can't feel sorry for too much. You know, we're earning a good living, and um, you know, I'm living my dream. But uh, it is tough mentally. Um, but luckily for myself, I'm quite mentally strong, and you know, I'm doing it for them. And uh, you know, hopefully, come next week, uh, they can be very proud that they'll have another trophy in the uh, the uh, front room. I could have got a trophy cabinet yet, so it's not good. You better start getting building one, boy. Uh, but uh, but does it feel like you're stuck in the Big Brother house? Does it feel like you could have some Geordie in your mind going, Dear 54, Premier League house, you know? Yeah, it does. Um, you know, I've been, I'm a, as you know, I, I play golf quite a lot. Um, so I've been having a couple of rounds, but when I play golf tonight, I lose. So I've been banned by my manager and me. My, my partner, I'm not allowed to play golf now until the break. So, no, it is tough. Uh, obviously, you're here day in, day out. Um, but, like I say, it could be worse. It could be um, getting up at 8 o'clock in the morning and doing my Excel spreadsheets like I used to do. So, you can't be, uh, you can't be too annoyed. How, how will you try and relax tonight? What, what do you do when you go back to your room, Nathan? Uh, 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 not, don't mention last night, but what, what do you do when you're happy? <laughs> when I win. Now, nah, I'm going to, um, obviously, I'm good pals with Davil as well. I would normally go out with Mike, but I best not test him tonight. <laughs> but uh, I'll um, I'll probably go out for something to eat with Dowell and Matt and uh, Matt, my manager. Have a, have a scram. Might have a celebratory uh, coke. 
um, and then uh, get bed and obviously get ready for tomorrow's match. Good stuff. Well, listen, Nathan, great result and uh, good to see you yeah. smiling. I'm glad we didn't get to speak to <laughs> you last night. <laughs> I know. Yeah, you didn't want to speak to me. <laughs> Cheers, Phil. Take care. Yeah. Cheers, Bye-bye.